Hello, uh, in this problem we will see um, IB question which is uh, connected with the t-test. Let's uh, read the problem. Uh, Mrs. Calhoun measures the height of students in her mathematics class. She is interested to see if the mean height of the male students mi1 is the same as the mean height of the female students mi2. The information is recorded in the table here. At 10% level of significance, a t-test was used to compare the means of the two groups. The data is assumed to be normally distributed and the standard deviations are equal between the two groups. State the null hypothesis. Now here the problem, we compare the means between uh, the male height and the female height of the students. So uh, since I will uh, conduct the t-test, uh, I conduct the t-test because I compare means of two samples to see do we have the same uh, mean or not. Now, so my null hypothesis, H0, will be that the two means are equal. Or, I can write it like that my null hypothesis me1 minus me2 is 0. Uh, now, that's for AI. How about A2? State the alternative hypothesis. The alternative will be that the means will be different. Or I can write it that the alternative hypothesis is me1 minus me2 is not 0. Now, calculate the, uh, the p-value for this test. Now, for this one, I have to use my calculator. Let me bring my calculator here. Okay, there is it. Now, what should I do? I'll go to my uh, first I will have to, to input the data here so I will go to my stat edit the two lists you see that I've already uh, have the data uh, here inside I import them L1 and L2 uh, and now since I have my data in my L1 list and L2 list then I'll go to uh, again start tests and then I will do a two sample t test because I have two, two samples and I want to compare the means so here L1 L2 the list frequency is always one here now I want to check if they are different not the second uh, mean to be bigger here um, pull data since now here since it says that the standard deviations are equal between the two groups I put always yes in the pulled and then I go to calculate so you see I have a p-value which is my p-value is 0 0.29 seven if I'll run to three significant it will be 0 0.296 that's for B now C state giving a reason whether Miss Calhoun should accept the null hypothesis now since my p-value which is 0 0.296 is bigger than the level of significance which is 10% meaning 0 0.1 it means I cannot reject my null hypothesis 
when my p-value is bigger than the level of significance, I cannot uh, reject my null hypothesis. So I accept that they are equal. Uh, if it was less, I would say I reject the null hypothesis and I uh, assume that they are different. 